Hey, we're at X guys. And this? This is Fakatani. I have to say, it's got immaculate weather. The people are really nice. It's just a wonderful place, it's good. It's a real wicked place to grow up in. There's just not so much of a music scene, really. We've actually have mapped out Fakatani as an Alex Guys universe. This? This is Rap Alley. Okay, fuck a tiny born and bred. I've got fed bread from the day I was living and you're seeing that me. Rap Alley, that's definitely a posse for us. We'll get together and go down to our alley and bust a couple of beats, you know, do a couple of acapellas. We do enjoy spitting down some harsh rhymes. Alex Guys is just three lads making noise, really, trying to write songs that sound good. The three closest genres I'd put us to would be alternative, indie, slightly punk. We each have different personalities. Ollie, he is probably the most gangster member. <laughs> well, I guess I've always been a pretty loud and obnoxious dude. <laughs> and, um, I've always loved hitting things, so yeah, I just decided to pick up drums. He's just a wicked drummer. He's definitely by far the most talented musician in Alex Guys, I've got to be honest. Ollie's the Joker. He's pretty crazy. Sometimes he just jumps into random trees and hurts himself and always kind of just makes me laugh. Like, he's just mental. Riley, uh, he's the lead vocalist and he plays bass. I love his style. He's got a real, real awesome style and he seems to think he's quite funny. I like to tell jokes. They're pretty hilarious, to be honest. I'm quite a funny guy. His jokes are just awful. Did you hear about the wooden car? It wouldn't go. <laughs> he thinks they're real good. Really, they're not. It's just not right. Miles and I have been friends since, like, intermediate. Like, he's one of my best mates. The way he puts so much energy and intensity into everything he plays. He's very caring and, and loving. Quite a warm dude. He will always help out anyone in need. The guitar was the only instrument that was lying around my house when I was 12, so I just picked it up. I think it's his original energetic playing that makes us so energetic. I get kind of frustrated when a band's playing very energetic music, but not moving on stage. I think you should come on stage just exhausted. The first song we wrote as Alex Guys was a reggae song called Fine Wine about waking up in Jamaica surrounded by pretty girls, and we thought it was dope. Walk up in Jamaica, take a drink of the fine wine. A thousand pretty ladies playing ukuleles on the shore. We're still really proud of that song. We like to write songs about stuff that's important to the band as a whole. We'll come up with a concept, we'll just discuss it, then we'll maybe write a riff, jam it, to actually develop a song you actually need to kind of mull over ideas. Most weekends we like to pack in quite a few shows. Being on the road with Alex Skies is kind of chaotic some pretty hilarious stuff going down in the van. Right, so we're here at Contact FM on the Waikato Uni campus, about to do a radio interview before our show with our friends Tide on Teeth and The Good Fun. I've forgotten your name. What are you called? Attic Sky. Attic Skies. S-K-Y apostrophe S. So not how you spell skies. That's how we spell skies. Excellent. Da, 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 da. We love chalk bombing the pavement. Chalk bombing is basically just graffiti with chalk. Just get it everywhere we can. It's a very cheap option and it's quite effective. We get a lot of preschoolers showing up. Oh, this? This is my grandparents' house. My name's Dawn, grandmother to Miles. I'm granddad and chief car washer. Well, my grandparents are, you know, lovely people and they let us stay at their house, put Kai on the table and we couldn't do it without final support. They're always pushing us to go out there and have a good time, get exposure and live the dream, really. We don't see them very much. They're off doing their gig. We just leave the front door open and they rock in when they're finished. Really good guys, really proud of them all. When we found out we are in the national final, I was just in shock, to be honest. I just went crazy, lifting couches up. Ollie shed a bit of a tear. He doesn't like people to know, but he wept 
it, it was an emotional moment for me. I, I don't know why I cried. It was just really, really amazing. We're just really happy with how we're playing at the moment. If we can keep playing together, we will, and we're going to try and make it work for us. Just keep doing what we do. If friends and music can collaborate and get together, that's just the best thing on earth.